Welcome back to another episode, everybody. Today is the roulette bass fishing challenge, which is an app on my phone where I put a bunch of baits in, and whichever four get picked are the ones that I'm going to tie up today. And the challenge is to catch a fish on all four of those lures, and I can't leave the pond until I catch one on all of those lures. So let me open up the roulette app on my phone, and I'll show you guys how this works. Alright guys, so here's the app. This is going to be for my 7 foot medium heavy with a uh, 15 pound mono and this is going to be for my top water. So let's spin the wheel and see which top water I have to throw tonight. White spook. Alright, that's a good bait. Alright, got the white spook. Now let's figure out which lure I'm going to be using for my 6.8 medium heavy. For the 6.8 medium heavy I have a bunch of different things because you can basically throw anything on that. So I have a bunch of moving baits and I also have some like jigs and worms and stuff like that. So let's oh, spin that one. Finesse jig. Okay that's a good bait. Uh, now on to the, which one is this? Okay, this is for my spinning rod. Sorry about the vacuuming in the background. Um, I guess someone decided to vacuum. It is... Drop shot. I think that's going to be my toughest one, honestly. And then last one is for my big heavy flipping stick. All right, we got the whopper plopper. So, looks like I have some pretty good baits that I'm gonna use tonight. Uh, drop shot, I actually think will be the hardest. The spook and the whopper plopper, I should be able to get a bite on, just because this is a good top water pond and I'll be fishing in the evening. Uh, the other one was a finesse jig. I should be able to catch one on that, especially if I miss a blow up on the, um, on the plopper or spook and I can pitch the finesse jig in there, or the drop shot. Same uh, way to catch them with that, so. This should be a fun video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the challenge and uh, stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this one. We made it down to the pond, which is right here behind me. Um, I got the rods rigged up. White spook, black whopper flopper, finesse jig, and where's the last one? Drop shot. Right there on this rod. I don't think you can see it. Anyway, it should be a good evening. I think I'm going to start off with the spook because the sun's still pretty high and they might want a little something a little more subtle. Um, so yeah, let's catch some, catch some fish. What is this? On the jig. Oh, it's a big one. Oh my gosh. On the big one. It's a big one. Oh. three-pounder. Oh, let's go. It's a three-pounder on the Burks Bates black and blue. Perfect hook set, corner of the mouth. Little black and blue finesse jig. It's caught me this three-pounder. It's got a little sore on his side. I cast it right over there to that log, and he came out and smoked it. I was actually over the limb and I felt him bite and sure enough it was a nice little, li not little, nice three pounder. So got the jig finished, uh, switch up baits to the, to the drop shot. Oh, he splashed me. Alright guys, just caught my first one of the day on that black and blue Burks Bates jig with a little crawl trailer and uh, she smoked it. I was a little bit over the limb that was hanging over that little lay down, well, not a little lay down, it was more of a stick up. And I kind of felt a thump and I was like, didn't really set the hook that much, but those uh, sharp hooks he puts on his thing pretty much set the hook himself. So I'm gonna switch to the drop shot because I don't think the top water bite is quite on. Uh, so.
Okay guys, I think it's about time to start throwing the top water. Got this little spook, white spook, and uh, hopefully I get some blow ups. I'm gonna use the drop shot as like a follow up bait. If I get any miss misses on the bait, I'm gonna throw the drop shot and hopefully catch the fish. Oh, nice. Backlash, first cast. On the plopper. Oh, it's a big one. Oh my gosh. Get over that. No, don't come off. Please don't come off. Oh my gosh, this might be my PB. I don't want to get hooked. Let's go. That's my personal best. Oh my gosh, that's a giant. It's my personal best bass on the Whopper Plopper. I'm pretty sure that might be four and a half pounds. Oh, yes. Come on, buddy, don't shake. Please don't shake. Four point three four, personal best bass. Heck yeah. That's a, that's a tank, dude. That's a tank. 4.34. Look at her. My personal best bass on the Whopper Plopper. I'm going to get a quick release. Let's get a release on my biggest bass of my life. That is a giant. Well, guys, I'm back at the house now, and I actually did not have enough lighting to make the outro at the pond, so I'm making it right now at the house. Um, I can't believe I caught my personal best tonight. It was pretty insane, especially on a top water like a whopper plopper. Just came up and nailed that bait. It was pretty crazy. Um, I did not complete the challenge. I know I said I'm going to stay there till I finish, but my dad wouldn't let me. <laughs> so blame him if you blame anybody. But I did finish two of the baits, and one day I'm going to get my revenge on that challenge and catch a bass on all four of the baits. But anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I'll catch you next time on the next episode of Jack Attack Outdoors.